it work, is going to work is because there have been clinical trials using um, a stem cell-like tissue in the past for treating Parkinson's disease. Um, in fact, there were uh, clinical trials in the United States um, in the 1990s and early 2000s. Two of them, one in Colorado by Kurt Fried and the other in Florida by Thomas Freeman. Now this, um, this predates the initiation of pluripotent stem cells. This is their pluripotent stem cells were derived from embryos first in 1998 and from iPS cells from the skin in 2007. So these trials, instead of using stem cells, used fetal tissue. And the idea was to uh, take um, fetal tissue from aborted fetuses, dissect out the little piece of the brain that's going to give rise to the, the dopamine neurons in the brain, and transplant that to the patients. And I think, remarkably, um, sometimes it really worked. There were people who were without symptoms for 20 years or longer. And there's some classic, I recommend that you read this book called Healing the Brain, about, uh, that Kurt Fried wrote, wrote about his experience with um, his stem cell, his fetal cell trials. So the, the problem was really um, the fetal tissue itself. It's very hard to, uh, even if you had an abundance of fetal tissue, it would be hard to do quality control with those tissues. So um, some of the outcomes were, uh, were unfortunate. Uh, some people got uh, uncontrollable dyskinesias that they, they, they then had to uh, uh, take drugs to have this movement disorder, the, sort of the opposite of being frozen. Um, they had to take drugs to, to treat that that was induced by, by the transplant. But as I said, some of them uh, had uh, improved considerably many years after the transplantation. This was a double-blind study, so there was, uh, there, we got information from the study about a placebo effect, which many people bring up. The surgery itself has a, a short-term effect that improves the disease. Now, people call that a placebo effect, and they say it's bad. I say it's a, an early start, and it's good, because it means that the people who are going to be treated or going to experience, at least for a short time, what we hope will be a uh, uh, freedom from their symptoms. So, uh, knowing that fetal cells work, um, what we decided to do was to address the uh, quality control issues by using stem cells. Um, some of the problems are they used multiple fetuses. It, they couldn't really characterize the cells before they transplanted them. They had to put in at least three fetal pieces of fetal tissue per side of the brain. And so you can imagine um, having to gather together that many bits of fetal tissue from very early abortions and dissect them out and then try to get the same cells every single time. And there was no control over the, the uh, genetic background or the, uh, uh, the uh, sex or the disease status of these embryos.